honey, you know, I was thinking I'm going to spend the evening do a little bit of a light reading. Would you be so kind as to procure me with some fine literature, please? <laughs> what? No, no, not the horny, porny comics. A magazine, perhaps. <laughs> yes, the art. No, not the articles. You know what? Actually, I already have something for that. Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Do You Nerd. We're a little bit of a variety channel. A little bit, a little Just bit. Just a tiny bit. A lot of stuff. Uh, so, you know, I actually love the age of magazines. One of my favorite gaming magazines of all time was Nintendo Power, but I did like something a little later on, and that was PSM, PlayStation Magazine. This is not to be confused with the official PlayStation magazine, which was cool in its own right because it came with the demo discs, and when you were broke as a joke, that was the best way to have something to play when you could afford a video game. And now those are really expensive at flea markets. Oh my gosh, they are. <laughs> wow. And in fact, all magazines are, which is why it was a boon to reach out to someone on Twitter, Game Trade Greg. He's got a video game store. He's a Twitch streamer. More importantly, he is an They have medication for twitching, you know. He is also a Twitch streamer. And more importantly, he is an Extra Life fundraiser. So he streams for the charity of Extra Life. He posted that he had a lot come in to his store of PSM magazines. Nice. So I, I was like, I was like, hey, uh, if you don't need those, I would love to buy some from you. We talked back and forth, worked out a fantastic deal. Thank you so much for cutting me such a great deal because these are here. How long are they gonna be here? Forever. The box was great, the packing was great. The magazines themselves were even nice. bagged and boarded, so everything about these was nicely taken care of. You got some stickers. Ooh, nice, gonna one. make the magnets. Exactly. I wanna take a look at some of these. So first of all, one thing that was uh, kind of thrown in that I was interested in was this player's guide for Mario Mania. Nice. I had this back in the day. Of course you did. And like a dope, I loaned it out to someone. Of hey, you can did. I borrow your guide? And you know why I don't have it anymore? Until... Because they never gave it back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now this one does have some cosmetic damage. In all honesty, I wasn't too worried about that though because I mostly wanted what was inside other than this little bit on the spine and some of the marker on the front that I think can be cleaned off. Probably, yeah. Everything is intact in here. Something that I always loved about this, in fact, was here at the beginning. Now keep in mind, this was talking in the Super Nintendo days. You're going through the history of Mario. Nice, yeah. The fact that it's starting with Donkey Kong with this fantastic original artwork, but then talking about his cameos in other games, especially all these Game Boy games. And there's some screenshots in there too, which is really nice. I loved that. You got your main Yay! man. And then some of his friends, including Pauline from his Donkey Kong days, which back then, you know, they didn't really play up Pauline a lot. Not until Mario Odyssey did we get a lot That's more true. of her. Some of his enemies. And then it just went through his arcade history, his game history, and I loved all oh, of this. Oh, look at the merchandise, how fun. Oh my hey, gosh. Hey, we have that. Every single thing on this page, I think, that you don't already have, I'm pretty sure you would want in the I, collection. Yeah, definitely, yeah. So this was great. It even talks about the cartoon, uh, the movie that most people try not to talk about, but hey, check it out. Right here, guys, Nintendo officially acknowledging a live action movie, just saying. Monkey. Yeah. Monkey. An interview with Mr. Miyamoto, and then it goes into the guide for Super Mario World, talking about all of his moves, all of his items, the weapons, and then all of those lovely, painstakingly screenshot stitched together maps of every single stage in the game, including the special worlds, and just some uh, fun little tips and tricks to try out in the back. That's pretty cool, I like that. I love that, I'm really happy to have that back <laughs> in the collection. Now, the thing, again, that had caught my eye were these PSM issues. Look at these covers. Wow, those are great covers. So they're in great There's shape. There's a lot going on on those things. <laughs> the artwork, that was something that I always loved about PSM, was the fact that they would bring in often like comic book artists and the like mm -hmm. to do these excellent covers. So it was a chance to be able to see some of your favorite game characters done in a different style. 
and then in the front here it would break down that cover art That's sometimes nice. you would see some variations in the design and everything the people that ran this magazine throughout the magazine they'll like put in little blurbs and stuff <laughs> But then like in the back, they would take these little screenshots from games and make it into a comic. <laughs> they would have these little captions with their pictures. It seemed like it would just be a cool group. Like you get to, to know them with. while you're reading the magazine? Exactly. Yeah, that's really neat. One of the reasons why I wanted this magazine was because they talk about the pocket station. You could not play that. <laughs> I could not. <laughs> the thing is so tiny. Yeah, she's not kidding. She even almost dropped it. Know, That's how tiny. small it is. It's so small, her hands can't even hold on to this thing. I might have been able to see this when I was younger. I I'll tell you what, that's the kind of thing that Stav, Chronic Spartan Gaming, would probably play for like a month. Nothing but that. 30 day game challenge on this thing. Do it, Stav. Make it happen. You've been called out. <laughs> Don't tempt me with another 30 day challenge. I'm already regretting my choice of the 30 day challenge with the RG Nano and the PlayStation. Whatever it is, I forget what it's called now. <laughs> it's so similar in size. It's very tempting. It's very tempting. And I haven't even used this once. I bought it a while back. Haven't used it once. I'm actually really curious what it would be like. It's a pretty standard magazine. You know, you've got your game previews, your reviews, and everything. Wow, it still has the inserts in it. Yeah, they would sometimes do these lid stickers for the PlayStation. So when you had the original PlayStation, you know, you had that big circular lid. Mm -hmm. They would send you these stickers cool. that you could put on there. I could never, I could never do it, though. Didn't you, like, put stickers on your controller one time and regretted one time. it? One time, yeah. Yeah. And it just ate away at me. What have I done? And then this other one, the uh, naughty or nice list <laughs> with Laura on nice. the front. That is great. And see, stuff like this is so much fun to look back on because as they're going through the naughty and nice list, it's kind of a, a buying guide of things to look for back in the days of PS1. So it's a great like time capsule, yeah. basically. It's like, ooh, what? It's like, what oh, game I remember that I game. For? I completely forgot about that one. Stuff yes. like that. Yeah. Yeah, this is a great way to oh, go through and find some games that maybe you forgot that you always wanted to play, but you never got around to. I don't know if there's someone out there who thinks you should play this one, no. Soul Reaver. You know you're being a pain in the ass. Pirates are attacking! Nice. Want the code? Spoilers, there's no nude code, guys. Come on, get your minds out of the gutter. A couple of last things I wanted to note. Back here, they have this otaku station with all of this fun merch. And I'm very curious to know if this merch is out there somewhere. Like, did anyone yeah. ever pick it up? The thing that teases me, though, is this back issues. So you used to be able to buy the back issues mm. of these magazines. And here they have their very first issue. It's listed at $9.99. Go ahead, nerdlings. Hop online, see what PSM <laughs> issue number one is going for now. For a magazine, mind you. Oh my god, it's... it's expensive. Cocaine isn't cheap. Gotta make money. Look at this. It's a marketplace. You know, back when Craigslist. the internet was still in its infancy. <laughs> back when we had to use magazines for stuff like that. Right? Magazines and newspapers. So I'm very curious. If I were to email old Josh Bradley here... It would be kind of funny. He's like, do you still have this? And he'd be like, oh, uh, yeah, I do. You want it? He'd be like, yes, I've been waiting forever to get rid of it. <laughs> All right, well, there you have it. Uh, it probably seems kind of foolish to collect magazines, but I like the time capsuleness cool. of it. Better I drugs. like the <laughs> nostalgia. I like that it's not drugs. <laughs> uh, but it really does take me back because these were issues that I had. I remember being obsessed with the idea of the pocket station. Even back then, I didn't think yeah. I was going to play it, but it seemed like <laughs> such a cool device. So when magazines would like cover it and then it never officially came out in America, it was like, what? but you said you were going to be here. And then again, the, uh, the covers, that fantastic artwork. I really do love that. And I got to add something of yeah. pure nostalgia back into my really collection. Cool. So I am going to read these to you until you fall asleep. 
probably won't take very long because, you know, let's face it, PS1 games, am I right? <laughs> I think my dad would have something to say about that. Leave some comments down below if you have any memories of Mario Mania or PSM. We'll see you next time, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Make it mic checked. Mic check chicken. Mic check, Lacey. Mic check. Ladies and gentlemen, as soon as she's finished looking at the Playboy, we will continue. There's a lot of hair. And she's opening it up. I've lost it's her. a lot of hair. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Nope, this... start over. I was licking my teeth. <laughs> you know, it's going to the outtakes, right? <laughs>